Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. So Midnight Suns was a game that I was excited for, but I didn't want to get my hopes up too high. You know, with that kind of getting pushed back a lot and me worrying about it being good when it's a licensed game. But I do love Marvel Comics, and I do love from the creators of XCOM pretty much all their games. I was pretty excited to try this out, and I am so glad I did. Now, I did a Game of the Year list with my buddy a few weeks ago, and this was before Midnight Suns came out, and I already chose a game. But if I were able to choose a different game, this would be my Game of the Year. And I'm, I'm just going to spoil that right now. I love this game. So let me get into why I love this game. So the story is simple. Hunter is your main character. She's coming from the past. She's kind of revived and brought back after being in a slumber of sleepiness. And you have to stop your mother from basically taking over the world. And then you have all the Marvel characters that are a part of this. There's the Midnight Suns, which consists of like Blade, Scarlet Witch, Magic. Um, and then you have the Avengers, which consists of Tony and Steve and um, Doctor Strange. And you got uh, plenty of more characters as well. But these are kind of the two factions that have to work together to stop mother from basically taking over the world and tearing it apart so while the story is decent i think it's good and i'll get to kind of my negative later it's really the character interactions in this that really work they feel like the characters that i read on the paper wolverine feels like wolverine spider-man feels like spider-man magic feels like magic like things like that really work for me and the fact that you get choices they don't always matter or change the story or anything like that but the way that the characters interact to the choices you make feels so much like the comic counterpart which is great so if you're talking to magic you want to be kind of an asshole kind of mean in a way and magic reacts good to that so things like that i really enjoyed watching you interact with the different characters on both of these teams <laughs> What happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. Now, there's a ton of lore and love to Marvel Comics in this game. If you read Marvel Comics more than watching the movies, now, MCU has become a staple in movie history or whatever you want to call it. And people love it, and I also enjoy it a lot. But if you're a Marvel comic fan, this game provides so much more to you. Now, I've read Marvel Comics for over 20 years closer to 25 years of really heavily reading it i love it ever since i was a kid so kind of seeing these characters on screen really just kind of made me like so giddy in a way which is really weird to hear from a almost uh, 34 year old man but i'm saying that this game really just provides the characters that i love from the comics which is really cool and so much lore so many cool stories told in this game where i'm like oh my god i read that which is just so cool so the combat system works really well here. It's kind of a two-in-one. So this is very much an RPG. I know people get a little scared when they hear it has a card-based system. But the card-based system is this. Basically, you just have a cards that give you attacks that you can pull off in combat. But you get to customize your combat system or your, you know, card system. And it is random that which cards you get. But you can really tailor to how you want to fight and who you're fighting with. So having Iron Man on your team, you can have him as a full support, giving you, providing and block so that way it can help you survive longer giving you extra heroism which gets you to do more attacks and free roam and then you have a character like captain america which his cards focus on buffing him up and giving him you know protection and a shield and then he can pretty much take the brunt of the damage being a tank so there's different characters that provide different types of support or attacks or you know protection and that's pretty much what the card system is you use different cards that provide different attacks now some people just don't like the fact that it's a little 
little bit random. But they do give you enough options in this game to kind of get what you want. You can redraw on your hand a couple of times, a couple of cards, or you can get items that even let you redraw more. So really, you're you're not really put at a disadvantage. Never in this game did I feel like the game was fucking me and not giving me any cards I can't use in the turn. So I really enjoyed the fact that it actually kept me on edge. It made me use all these different attacks in different ways to win the battle and that's what's also really cool the battles don't feel that linear like you could pretty much perform the way you want to fight and sometimes you got to think out of the box of how to win the battle using environmental attacks that will win the battle by like throwing a rock at them blowing up a gas station whatever it is that you're going to do to win the battle sometimes you got to do that too so i love the fact that the combat really is a card based system in terms of getting attacks and using different ones in different turns but it's an rpg system it's very much picking your attack and watching them perform pulling off combos like throwing enemies into other enemies or throwing them into an environmental attack or your own people and then doing things like causing bleed or wounded and making them suffer through their own turn of attacking so yes this game does provide you a lot of options and it is a card based system because you have cards in this game but at the same time, if you're an RPG fan, like a turn-based RPG fan, this game is for you. I promise you that the card-based system will not really affect your enjoyment. It works pretty damn well. And talking about the card system real fast, like I said, it's kind of random, but you can pick and create your own deck. And there's a lot of different combos in this game. There's quite a few cards for each character. And the coolest part is when you get a card that does a certain thing, if you get multiple copies of that card, you can then upgrade that card to either do more damage, cause more effects. You get different types of things that kind of boost the card. So just starting off with a simple attack, by the end of upgrading it, you know, three or four times, this, that, this card does triple the damage causes bleed makes them stun you know things like that really feel like the rpg element works even in the cards favor so i have to say that the card system just works really well with a ton of different combos and a ton of different characters which kind of just slides over to my next positive every character here feels different now every character has an idea behind them of what they do best some characters are great at support like dr strange or iron man some characters are just brutal and just you know can make them tough as hell like blade who goes in for the bleeds or you have characters like captain america who can protect you you have characters like nico where it's kind of a chance system where you use a roulette but they can do major major damage or randomly heal your allies so there's a lot of different characters in this game that really provide all these different types of scenarios that I personally love. I love feeling characters that are all different and they do different things and they're good at different um, types of fighting and types of um, situations. And so it makes me use every character. I don't think I've ever did a same mission or sorry, I don't think I ever followed up and used the same team on the mission. I constantly switched my team because they were all so much fun to play as, except Doctor Strange. He wasn't. So the relationship system is something really interesting. I was not really interested in this part of the game. I thought it was just going to be a, you know, tagged on. But it's actually a main focus of the game. So after you do a battle, you come back to the Abbey, which is kind of your main hub world. And you get to kind of interact with people. You can watch a movie with them. You can play a game. You can go and just look at the stars <laughs> and you're building this relationship you can give them gifts and the relationship works in two ways one it builds trust you get to learn about the history of the characters you get to learn how they're feeling during this mission and just like little interactions and who they like and who they don't like things like that really work well but it also pushes into the gameplay where you unlock a couple of things one in the cosmetic field which i'll get to in a second but also new attacks and challenges to get their ultimate attack so things like this really work for me and in terms of that it reminds me very much of mass effect or persona where you're building a relationship through the game it feels natural it feels great and then it has the effect in the gameplay that works really well and like i was talking about unlocking things you unlock some really cool cosmetic choices so a lot of the stuff in this game is cosmetic in terms of unlocking stuff and i think that works because it doesn't feel like you're pressured to do everything just to have the strongest team that comes naturally by doing missions and unlocking gamma coils which basically give you stuff uh, or give you new cards which you can upgrade but the cosmetic choices are really well done in this game i think and the reason why is because everything actually looks pretty different i changed my character's design so many times in this game and i was just having a blast doing so i think the fact that it has so many choices and some simple as just 
reskin color make them look completely different which is actually a little weird but works really well and that goes into my last positive which is the graphics while not amazing and i'll get to that in the negative the design choices for this game are pretty great there's only one or two designs that i didn't love i think nico's design was a little offbeat for me i didn't really like the style of her hair and stuff but overall i really enjoyed this game i think the best part of this game is that it gives you so many different design choices and some of them feel right out of the comic some feel more like the movie because people like it and enjoy the movie versions of these characters and then some just feel like totally out there like the midnight suns designs like the final designs are crazy cool but definitely look like medieval mixed with modern technology kind of a cool combo so yeah the the cosmetic choice or the just the general design in this game is great the graphics though let's get to the negatives so let's talk about the weak side of the game. The graphics are the starting point. So the graphics, as you can probably see, aren't the greatest. While the designs look cool and the attacks all look good, I think like the actual character models definitely feel older. Definitely feel Mass Effect, maybe three. A little higher than that probably. But it does feel outdated in that aspect. I think the problem I have most with it is during the interactions, the voice acting's great, I'm feeling it. And then some of the faces are just not doing any emotional moments for me uh and that that kind of sucks and the story itself is decent like i said but the villains and their reasoning is just the typical villainy thing that i didn't really like i i especially didn't like the final boss that much because it just felt so samey big creature in the sky type thing so that really was a disappointment now there were some turns that i did like like uh somebody so, a certain somebody we don't name if you are a comic fan you'll know who i'm talking about um that uh had a little appearance was pretty cool uh but yeah overall the story itself was okay it was the character interactions that made it great but the story itself just okay and the last thing i need to mention is the glitches and bugs now surprisingly at 50 hours i did not have any but that's not to say they don't happen I've read so many reports of people literally couldn't play the game past a certain point when you send a hero on a hero ops mission, which is to send them off to get a card for a day. When they come back, you can't use them anymore. Now, they have fixed that, but the glitches were there, and the glitches are still there. People are still talking about it on Reddit, I see, and Twitter, so they're there. Now, I didn't have any, and I don't usually mind glitches or clipping, but when you have a game-breaking glitch that prevents you from finishing the game, Especially in the first week or so. That's definitely a negative. But for me, I didn't have any personally. Not one single glitch that I have in this game. Which is really surprising. But thank god I didn't, I didn't want to hamper my enjoyment. But yeah, even with those negatives. This game is absolutely phenomenal. In my opinion. I think it's one of the biggest surprise hits for me. Probably in the last about two or three years. I really just didn't expect to really dive deep into this game. To really just find so much enjoyment in it and enjoy just the side missions and doing missions and leveling up all of that worked really well the character interactions were great and of course getting new costumes was my one of my favorite things oh and of course you get bathing suits so that's always cool um but yeah overall this game was one of those home runs that i just didn't see coming and when that happens it's always a joy so if you are wondering should you pick midnight suns up i have three questions for you basically do you want a great game if you do yes or if you want a game that you think does marvel lore and the comics justice then very much yes and if you like rpgs 100 yes again the 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 card base deck system really is just the cosmetic of it it is an rpg turn base just with a little bit of randomness that you could just really tailor yourself around it by building the decks that you like and the characters that interact with each other in your life so overall for me this is obviously a very very good game probably one of my favorite in a long time and i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 i do think it's amazing i think really it is only held back by the graphics and if it had just a bit of a better story but everything else just i fell in love with i played 50 hours this is one of the only games i paid 50 hours and enjoyed the whole way through in the last few years guys go pick this one up right now